Hello everybody again, this is Rombo, and today we're continuing to discuss ILIS. Um, been an interesting couple of days. Uh, one of my theories, uh, or I guess examples, uh, did come to fruition. It did break that one downward trend line. It came up and broke both of these two trend lines, but then it got rejected off of 0658 area, and then we are now coming back down, and we are back under the um, uh, that second trend line, the le least resistant trend line. We're just straddling it here. And now what I had here, what I was hoping where it would come down, break both, and then t uh, break the resistance line, come up and bounce off of there, then hit and then break through. Well, we're, it looks like what we're doing is we're, we're just starting a little bit early. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, except we're not getting a lower price, but I'm not complaining as long as the price goes up and uh, we prognosticate properly. That's all I care about. Um, so it looks like uh, we're most likely we'll be coming down to around the uh, January 28th where it most likely will straddle this downward trend line. Um, and then I call it the day of truth here. W once it hits this uh, support line here, um, Considering we already have um, we have the lowest low here, and but now we have a higher low, and now what I'm thinking is we're going to have a higher low right here. So now we're bouncing higher and higher, and then what's going to happen is um, most likely uh, it will break, and then we'll continue upward again, and this time I think it's going to usually after it tests. That resistance line the second time uh, the bulls get more confidence and then it tends to break up and go through to the next highest resistance line which is at 073 then most likely it will will come back down um, and uh, find support and then we'll continue on upward um, up to higher levels up to 095 or so uh, so uh, pretty much the same scenario that I had down here, except uh, looks like I just decided to uh, just uh, start a little bit earlier, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so it is looking promising. Uh, I most likely will uh, myself be looking forward to it coming down here you could buy here if you if you want maybe that first candlestick coming up on the bounce um, that would be uh, a little aggressive but not too much because we're already seeing the high uh, the higher lows here um, what I would like to see is it uh, bounce again one, one more time here maybe and then come through but um, that probably won't happen it will probably just bounce off of here um, and then uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy in right here, and then we will uh, continue uh, on up. So I'm looking forward to uh, maybe getting in around uh, 0 0.60 or so, um, and then uh, I'll just ride this bounce out here, and then it will continue up. Uh, if you want to be more conservative, you could see if it, after the bounce to see uh, if it comes down and then bounces again right here before getting in um, and making sure that it doesn't break down and, and come back down th to this uh, lower trend line uh, resistance downward trend line but um, given that we're already having uh, higher lows um, now we're, uh, what I'm looking forward to is coming up and then starting to have a higher high really we're seriously uh, becoming uh, getting into a downtrend when we get above 0 0.0779 or so, um, that's when we can feel really confident that now we are in a nice long uptrend. Um, the 50-day hull uh, moving average has already turned from dark green to light green. That's a good sign. That means it's sensing uh, an uptrend. So that's good. Um, the 200-day, which is obviously a slower moving, moving average, um, it is uh, still red, but I, I suspect after maybe a couple more blue, uh, blue days or green days, um, it will turn orange and then it will turn 
dark green and our dark green and now we'll turn to light green um, showing that now we are in a nice long uh, beginning to a long uh, uptrend and then we uh, can just only thing we'd have to worry about is moving up our stop losses it's looking pretty good um, and that's all I have uh, to say tonight uh, you guys have a good night and again hit that like button and uh, ask any questions that you want any kind of uh, charts uh, tickers you want me to take a look at and uh, I'll be glad to look at them for you thanks a lot guys have a good night